without you. Live from Augusta. Breaking news. Breaking news out of Richmond County. Shots fired inside the Augusta Mall this afternoon, sending shoppers scrambling on this 4th of July holiday and sending one victim to the hospital. Good evening, I'm Richard Rogers. Augusta Dispatch confirming that first call of shots fired came in right around 3.38 this afternoon. Will Rio has been live for us all afternoon near the Augusta Mall off Wrightsboro Road. And Will, in just the last hour, Richmond County deputies confirming for us one person injured, sent to a hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Yeah, that's right, Richard. And right now, uh, around 6 o'clock, where we are right now, the mall just closed on what was a very chaotic afternoon for a lot of people here at the Augusta Mall, just trying to enjoy their 4th of July holiday here. Uh, when we showed up to the mall earlier this afternoon, we saw floods of vehicles leaving the mall as mall security told people to leave the mall. And then deputies also showing up on scene telling people to leave as well. Uh, again, very chaotic here. Uh, this happened, what we believe happened near, uh, uh, near the Dick's uh, Sporting Goods shop and then J.C. Penny as well. Uh, we got up to this upper level where Palmetto Moon and Lululemon, Barnes & Noble are. We saw uh, multiple other deputy vehicles parked out front here as they continued their investigation as well. I actually had the chance to talk to a store uh, employee, a uh, store manager who was at the Augusta Mall, came to check on her employees. Uh, she said that her employees heard multiple gunshots. Uh, they said it did not sound like fireworks. They were These were distinctive gunshots, multiple gunshots that happened inside the mall this afternoon as well. They said that they actually have a safety plan in place when things like this happen. She says it's very unfortunate that that has to be the case here at the Augusta Mall. But they did what they had to do uh, to close the front of their store with a lot of other stores as well uh, and then usher people to the back of the store until they got that all clear from mall security and deputies as well as they continue their investigation. But again, very quiet here at the Augusta Mall. This isn't the first time we've seen something like this happen. Back in 2022, we had a fatal shooting here at the mall. And then less than three months ago, we had more shots fired here at the Augusta Mall, uh, which led to other circumstances with those suspects. Uh, but again, you know, we've seen social media all day today. There's no surprise here. People are seem to be fed up with what's going on at the Augusta Mall as, as uh, again, on a holiday, people out trying to enjoy their afternoon. We have shots fired here people in a frenzy trying to escape the mall. Uh, uh, but right now, we're still waiting on more details surrounding what exactly happened with this shooting here, Richard. And Will, correct me if I'm wrong, but you actually saw the ambulance taking that victim away, and there's no word yet on uh, the person who fired those shots this afternoon. We don't know much about a suspect, do we? Yeah, no idea who or, or who fired those shots originally. Uh, like you said, we heard from someone early on when this incident was first reported that uh, it looked like a young black male who was taken away in a goal, uh, uh, in an EMS uh, vehicle, in an ambulance, excuse me, uh, earlier this afternoon. So no word yet on any possible shooters or any suspects in this case. Uh, we don't know what exactly happened, what exactly transpired to lead up to those shootings as well. We don't know if this was a targeted event. Uh, again, if this was an active shooter situation where there were multiple people injured, which there weren't, we would have seen a, a larger law enforcement presence. But again, it seemed like it was an isolated incident to only a uh, few people here. Really rattling the 4th of July for all those shoppers out there just trying to enjoy a day off. Will Rio, thanks for following the story for us. Let us know if anything changes. We'll go right back to you for the latest updates. Questions are for about safety at the mall now on people's mind this evening. Just a few months ago, back on April 28th, shots were fired inside the Dillard store there at the mall. In that incident, investigators say it was a targeted attack. Two suspects identified in that case. Again, shots fired today in the Augusta Mall, injuring one person. No word yet on the suspects, but stick with us as we continue following a developing situation. To weather now, and first of all, meteorologist Riley Hale. Riley, hot as a firecracker out on this 4th of July. Definitely so, Richard. In seasonal storm chances do start to increase and looking a little bit better. We'll have a look at that in just about 10 minutes. Thank you, Riley. Another big story we're following this evening. Six 16 apartments damaged by fire overnight in Augusta, and people there are wondering if fireworks are to blame. This was the scene around 11 last night at the 926 apartments off Stevens Creek Road. That's the former Ridgecrest apartment complex just off Riverwatch Parkway. Fire crews are still working to figure out what caused the fire, but people living there say they heard fireworks for a good while, for a couple of hours, before that fire. Thankfully, no serious injuries, but fire crews saw one person with minor injuries after escaping the flames from a 
balcony there. And as Jada Wilson tells us, while everyone got out in time, some families lost everything. In a matter of seconds, everything can be gone. I come home at 11 o'clock, I done lost everything. I don't have nothing. I don't know what to do, you know what I'm saying? People in 926 West Apartments woke up with no place to go and a feeling of shock and hopeless. I, I did not expect this to happen. I didn't. Um, I feel kind of sad about it because I know when I first got here, they had just renovated or remodeled, something like that. On Wednesday night, an apartment building went up in flames for people living in building 3,300. Um, there was a bunch of kids screaming, uh, people knocking on doors uh, behind me and everything, just trying to make sure everybody had got out safely. Um, it was just a lot, of, a lot of emotion going on. The smoky air, the fire alarms, the chaos, feeling of losing everything caused residents to panic. Honestly, my brain stopped working. That's how I felt. Uh, I didn't know what to do. So I just go outside and hopefully nobody else got hurt. That's why I was thinking about other people as well. And before fire alarms went off, things were normal. My wife cool. My wife had just got off work. Everything. Clean. We need to come back. The whole building burnt. And now, less than 24 hours later, 16 families left with little to nothing. I come home, everything burnt to the ground. It's nothing. They tell me, wait, I don't know what to do. The Red Cross provided a place for people to stay for the next three days. And as of right now, there is no word on what caused the fire. Reporting in Augusta, Jada Walker, on your side. A shocking loss over that way and today we did see members of the Red Cross those volunteers there on the ground at the apartment complex offering to help those affected also this evening a Burke County candidate for sheriff is dropping out of that race Lewis Blanchard issuing a statement last night thanking everyone for the support but saying the primary election showed strong support for the current sheriff Alfonso Williams Blanchard goes on to say while his campaign may be coming to an end he'll continue to support efforts that ensure the safety and well-being of the community and that leads Sheriff Alfonso Williams as the only candidate running in November. He responded to Blanchard's announcement on Facebook saying, we want to assure the people of Burke County that I will continue to serve and keep our community safe, just as we've done for the past seven and a half years. Well, as we celebrate the 4th of July holiday, events across our area are beginning to welcome people for a night of music and food and, of course, fireworks. Kennedy Payne there, live for us in Evans, where Boom in the Park just kicked off over at Evans Town Center Park. How's the turnout so far, Kennedy? Yeah, Richard, so many people here already. You can just see the crowd swarming. They're getting their spots for the fireworks, the live music. They have their blankets, their umbrellas, just kind of shading themselves. And the gates did open an hour ago, but vendors and event staff have been prepping all day. Some even started yesterday. The preparation for tonight's event starts days before, and some vendors even have a routine down. Usually, to be honest, we try to get here earlier, but they only have set times for us to get in. Um, so we kind of come up with a game plan ahead of time, just get here, uh, start unloading, and we have a routine. So we start doing our signs, um, packing out, getting everything prepped. So um, we've been doing it for a while. We try to get in and be set up within two hours if possible. I think we start getting everything prepped at the stores and in our warehouse and everything. Um, so that way we can just load up and come out here. We have to be here um, about noon. To get set up because they don't let anybody out here after one o'clock. This year, organizers are expecting anywhere between 14,000 and 16,000 people to attend the event. Oh, it's wide open. Very busy. Lines, <laughs> double lines. <laughs> It'll be all the way, you know, to the road. So, and we try to, you know, staff it very well so we can serve our guests very quick so they can enjoy the festivities. Vendors say the event is growing every year. And every year it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And so, yeah, we're proud to be a part of the community, proud to come out here and, and, and support the 4th of July. And even though it's expected to be hot, they still plan on having fun. I'm looking forward to it. We're going to sling food and, you know, try to make the best of everything. Yeah, and like I said, the fun just started, so you have plenty of time to get out here and join all of these festivities that you see. And just having a really good time out here, like this, the fireworks start at 
quarantine. So just make sure that you grab your lawn chair, bring it out here, camp out here, and also make sure that you bring water because it is hot, Richard. Great advice there. It won't be too long, Kennedy, before the sun sets, the temperature drops off, more people flood out there, and then that amazing fireworks show, a highlight year after year in Columbia County. Kennedy, thanks so much. Not too far away, downtown in Augusta, the fun just starting over at the Augusta Common. They brought, they're offering up live uh, music, food trucks, vendors, lots to do as we wait for the sun to set downtown as well. And once it's dark enough, fireworks will light the night sky over downtown Augusta as well. In Aiken, the village at Woodside will have food trucks to go with their usual restaurants and cafes. You're going to have a great view of the fireworks show from there, put on by the Reserve Club at Woodside Plantation. And over in the town of Snelling, music, food, and fun kicking off at 7 this evening. That's happening at Snelling Park. A fireworks show there also starting just after sunset when it's good and dark. And you can see plenty of events gearing up as people gather to see a show in the sky tonight. Riley, perfect night for it, aside from that heat that Kennedy mentioned. Yeah, it is July, so it is going to feel a little bit warmer out there, but luckily dry weather extends through the rest of tonight, but better storm chances heading into the weekend. We'll have that full forecast next. And stay with us. Our sports director, Dan Booth, is live at SRP Park, where the Green Jackets are set to face off against the Fireflies tonight. We're going to check out the 4th of July celebrations from there, right after this quick break. Time and Temp, brought to you by your first alert weather team. Introducing the First Alert Radar Network. With up to 10 times the resolution of other local radars and technology that can pinpoint right down to your street. First just got faster. I love them. With more news in just a moment. First Alert Radar, powered by Jim Hudson Automotive Group. Please join me for a live educational webinar where I'll break down every aspect of Medicare. I promise you'll walk away feeling confident and prepared to take the next step on your Medicare journey. It's free to join, and you can sign up right on our website, our u 64com Did you know that... Competitive pricing. Call Cool Ray Mechanical today, your local Ream Pro partner. Motorcycle crashes almost always result in serious injuries because there's nothing between the biker and another car, truck, or the pavement. The injuries can be debilitating and permanent. Cost and recovery time, overwhelming. If you've been injured in a motorcycle accident, you need serious help, and you need it now. Injured? Call Austin Jackson, the Augusta guy. 706-724-7224. 706-724-7224. We all know Medicare is confusing, but if you're a veteran, it can be even more complex. Our team has helped thousands of veterans coordinate their Medicare with VA benefits, CHAMP VA, and TRICARE for Life. Don't wait until you're 65 to call. Are you 64com Welcome back. If you're just joining us, we wanted to bring you up to speed on some breaking news we've been following all afternoon on the air as well as online. This afternoon, just after 3.30, shots fired inside the Augusta Mall. The Richmond County Sheriff's Office telling us one male victim was shot and taken to the hospital with what they call non-life-threatening injuries. As for the suspect, no information yet on a, a person who fired the shots or what led up to today's shooting. An unusual sight on this 4th of July is only at Ashley. So how long would you wait in line for free barbecue? The answer for quite a few locals today was quite a while. That's the view from Grovetown earlier today where we saw what had to be at least 100 cars in line at one point for the annual 4th of July drive through barbecue. The actual event was at Liberty Park where we saw the line sinking well past Newmantown Road. So we saw similar long lines yesterday over at Sconyers where one man told us he was in line for a couple of hours plus picking up his pre-order for today. So Riley, when it comes to barbecue how long is too long well that depends on is if it's free did you pre-order it and what's the family going to say if you come home empty-handed i know and, uh, the free barbecue i would wait a long time for that especially i mean i'm not sure exactly what they were giving out um, and how big the portion sizes were but hey i would wait a long time for some good barbecue and we got a few people waiting in line at the back nine grill there on srp park so they're getting ready for the ball game out there temperature's still hot remember we do have the heat advisory in effect tomorrow so even hotter friday but luckily storm chances going up as we head into the weekend and that's all our time for now. We'll see you again right back here for News 12 at 11 o'clock. Have a great evening and happy 4th. Enjoy the fireworks. At the CBS Evening News, we focus on solutions, finding solutions to help people understand what are the right choices to make for you and your family. Oh!
Advisories in effect for your Friday with the latest from a First Alert Chief Meteorologist, Riley Hale. Good evening, I'm Richard Rogers. We're going to get to those stories in a bit, but first, a shooting at the Augusta Mall this afternoon sends people running out the doors. That call went out right around 3.38 with one victim taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Our Julius Evans spent the afternoon at the mall where he spoke with a witness left in shock by it all. Richard, we saw floods of people running out of the mall and a lot of frustration from shoppers looking for those holiday deals. A situation many say is unforgettable, but unfortunately not surprising. I hear directly that there is a two shots. So it's like pop, pop. Rochelle Giant says what seemed to be a typical 4th of July at the mall quickly turned south. I saw people running and screaming already. And there is a lot of bunches of people running, going to the food court, screaming. Giant says she and 20 other people in Victoria's Secret had to hide in a storage closet for more than 40 minutes. She says that moment was an unfortunate wake-up call for her. Oh, I cannot imagine that 4th of July, you want to go somewhere like mall because there's a lot of sales, stuff like that, and you are not safe anymore. A similar situation happened back in April with shots fired and a fatal shooting at the mall in 2020. Giant says she wishes she doesn't have to be on high alert while shopping, but she has no choice. It's always stick to my mind. It comes to my mind, oh, maybe there is a shooting here again and again. A feeling Giant says she hopes more people pay attention to in the future. I hope that the security personnel there will be more tightened for their security and uh, especially for checking the people going inside the mall. Word of a suspect being identified or being apprehended at this time. If you have any information, Richmond County investigators want to hear from you. Yeah, there Richard, is, there is still a lot we don't know from it all. Julius Evans live in our newsroom tonight. Julius, thank you for that. To weather now, as we give you a live look outside, River Watch and I-20. Uh, the horizon this evening, Riley, we've seen fireworks from one end of our coverage area to the other. And not a bad night for it either. No, beautiful night for it. Luckily, staying dry. Thank you, Riley. Fireworks lighting up the night sky all across the area tonight as people celebrate Independence Day. This is video from downtown, the Augusta Common. A lot of people gathering there for that big event. Look at the size of that crowd. This evening started with a live entertainment there, a kitty carnival, food, and more. Beautiful sight above downtown Augusta this evening. Thousands more gathering in Evans for the annual boom in the park event there. There was live music, food, and other entertainment, along with a late show and later fireworks we spoke with one of those performers from the band whiskey run ahead of tonight's music everyone stepping, stepping up on that stage and just performing doing our some of our close original songs um and just having a great time and, and you can see by the turnout here there's thousands and thousands of people that this is such a great event so thank you to columbia county for putting on this free event Always a great turnout for Boom in the Park. Ryan Trotty also performing at Boom in the Park there tonight in Columbia County. In Aiken, the village at Woodside holding a fireworks show tonight. There was a celebration there tonight with live music, food trucks, and more. And you can see just some of the fireworks uh, captured there on camera in time-lapse form, which is always interesting to see. There is history to celebrate as well to mark our nation's 248th birthday. Members of more than a half dozen civic and Masonic organizations coming together for this 14th annual 4th of July ceremony downtown. A solemn moment there at the Signers Monument in Augusta. That monument honors the three Georgia representatives who signed the Declaration of Independence. George Walton, Lyman Hall, Button Gwinnett, and there were flowers placed there at the monument while music was performed by the Somerville Brass Quintet. I've been doing this program probably 13 or 14 years now. And it's for me, it's been a terrific way to kick off the July 4th celebration. You know, celebrate this country, learn a little bit about our history, um, but also to make beautiful music. 
In case you didn't know, two of the three signers, Walton and Hall, are actually buried there underneath that monument. Also today, the Living History Park in North Augusta taking guests back in time to our nation's founding. All the historic buildings there were open as reenactors brought history to life once again. People also gathered to hear a reading of the Declaration of Independence by North Augusta Mayor Britton Williams. That's become a tradition for him. There are more celebrations tomorrow and this weekend. Tomorrow, a Freedom Blast event in Thompson. They have music and food and activities at the Thompson McDuffie Government Center from 7 until 9.30 tomorrow night. In Hepzibah, another fireworks extravaganza at the Agricultural Center with fireworks starting right around 9.30. Then Saturday, the annual fireworks show at Clarks Hill Lake. That's in front of the Raysville Marina. That should be a beautiful sight above the water there. That all starts at 9 o'clock there up at the lake. In our nation's capital, President Nation's capital. We're now in the midst of what's known as the 100 Deadly Days, the period during the summer that's more dangerous than normal for drivers, especially younger drivers. And over the 4th of July holiday weekend, law enforcement is reminding folks on the road and the water not to get behind the wheel if they've been drinking. Mary Green shows us one of the tools South Carolina law enforcement is using now to enforce that. The person is to be tested is going to be brought into the back. This is the Batmobile. Bat standing for breath alcohol testing. It's a mobile breathalyzer, allowing law enforcement to test suspected impaired drivers and voters much more quickly than having to take them to a physical site like a detention center. The South Carolina Department of Natural Resources takes it all over, parked next to Lake Murray for the 4th of July and moving elsewhere across the state over the weekend. People seeing it, knowing that it's here, that's a big deterrent for us. Highway Patrol will also be out in full force over this holiday period. SCHP says all troopers are working, stationed every 10 miles along every interstate in South Carolina. Last year, we looked back and saw four and eight lives were lost on our highways. And we think of a number and say eight, but that's eight families and eight communities that got the worst news in their life delivered on July 4th. We want to end this holiday period with zero fatalities. The same goal shared by Mothers Against Drunk Driving to keep South Carolina's roads and waters safe this holiday period. We want everyone to just think of summer for all the wonderful things that it is and July 4th for all the wonderful celebration that it can be and not turned into some terrible memory of, of a tragedy that occurred on those dates. You know, We just don't want people to ever have to go through those type of things and keep July 4th as the special event that it should be. Mary Green, our State House reporter, reporting there. Our fireworks responsible for this apartment complex fire in Augusta? That's what investigators are still working to find out. Fire crews battling this apartment fire involving 16 units this morning. This is the 926 West Apartments on Stevens Creek Road in Augusta, the former Ridgecrest apartment complex. A caller reported hearing fireworks for more than two hours last night before noticing the fire in the complex. That person then started going door to door, knocking on doors, urging neighbors to evacuate. One person had minor injuries after trying to escape from a balcony. People living at the complex say they woke up with a feeling of shock and hopelessness. I don't see my brain stop working. That's how I feel. Uh, I didn't know what to do. Besides, just go outside and hopefully nobody else got hurt. That's why I'm thinking about other people as well. The Red Cross is on scene providing people a place to stay for a few days and again the cause of that fire under investigation. In Atlanta about 50,000 runners took part in the annual 4th of July AJC Peachtree Road Race. This is the world's largest 10K race with runners and wheelchair competitors as well all decked out in red, white and blue running gear. The race ended early because of the extreme heat and there was a surprise proposal at the end of the race. Check it out. Very, very wonderful time with Mrs. Claus over the last few years and um, I always thought that doing something really big and really fun would be the way to go so <laughs> but I would love to know Stacy Miller will you marry me <laughs> Yes, it is a yes. Always something worth celebrating at the Peachtree Road Race. And congratulations to all those runners for getting it done in the heat and humidity of this 4th of July, Riley. It was a hot one out there for us, and unfortunately getting only hotter for our Friday. But the good news is we do have a little bit better rain chances heading into the weekend on that full forecast next. And you know, from coast to coast, people are getting ready for and seeing some extreme weather. The latest on Hurricane Barrel and a wildfire burning tonight in California when we come back.
When you visit or work with Parker's Kitchen, your support makes a difference. You've helped us rank as best workplace in America. None of this happens without you. Thank, Thank you. you.